I'm Rita Sharon. I'm a doctor and a literary scholar at Columbia, and I'm here at Lions Health Festival. It is the case that when someone is ill, they have to tell of what's happening to them, to somebody. And less and less and less often, they find a listener, either in their family, or certainly if they come to the doctor's office or the clinic. So we have been trying to teach doctors, nurses, social workers, chaplains, receptionists in the clinic how to more actively, effectively receive what patients say. When a sick person tells of what's happening to them, first of all, it's very scary. These are disasters much of the time. It's loss, it's suffering, it's death. Even if it's a something simple, it's in the shadow of what's gonna happen to me. And so what does the listener need in order to fully honor what's said? Well, they really need a sophisticated sense of how language works. People don't just tell you in words. They tell you in gestures, in facial expression, in silences, in the unsaid. So we find that if we teach people how to read, you know, like really like graduate school, close reading, like every word counts, that's what's needed to fully receive and honor what sick people say. You know, when we think of who is engaged in this work, who is in the clearing with us? As we try our best to improve healthcare by listening, we understand, my colleagues and I, that the clearing, the space in the forest that others come into, is vast. It includes, for sure, other health professionals. It includes anyone who has a stake in health. So the marketers, the advertisers, the creative directors, the graphic designers, the app developers involved in healthcare know that they have chosen to live their lives in the presence of sickness. They could have worked for some oil company. They chose to work in healthcare. So we are partners, along with everyone who is or is going to get sick. We are partners in, I mean, it's the unity that goes underneath everything else. We are human and we are mortal.